Welcome to Wild Streams, Wild Virginia's online music and film event. It's here. We've spent a couple of months putting all of this together for you and we really hope you enjoy the show. I just want to take a quick second to thank all of the volunteers and artists and wonderful students that have helped make this possible today. So I really hope you enjoy it. I hope it does three things. I hope it connects you to each other. I hope it connects you to our work. And of course, I hope it helps you connect to nature. All right, here it comes, Wild Streams. So blue, and when she smiled, I lit up. We just walked, that was enough. I do believe no finer day was ever seen in this way. And now her eyes, great as Welcome to this great event. And if you're just learning about us, we invite you to become a wild Virginian and be an active part of the effort to protect our precious forests, waters, and species. Our mission is to protect and connect your favorite wild places. And some of the most important of those places are the creeks and rivers that enrich our lives and our communities and which are affected by everything we do on the land. Every stream matters, whether it flows from the national forest, through your backyard, or under city streets. They are all part of a network that must work together to be healthy and sustainable. They are your wild places. This is why the films featured in this program from Freshwaters Illustrated are so appropriate. The stream environments of the southeastern United States, including those in Virginia, are among the richest and most diverse in the country, and even have worldwide significance. Many of the fish, amphibians, mussels, and other aquatic species are at risk from pollution, habitat destruction, and fragmentation of species ranges. We work to see that decisions affecting our environment by federal and state agencies and private parties are based on science and the law. Please visit wildvirginia.org to join our many members and volunteers to keep your wild places healthy and safe. Pleasure of introducing our next music video. It's from The Falsies, and it's called The Future Isn't Now, Part 1. And you can see in here, the Falsies are out finding ways to explore their backyard wild and stay connected. So I hope you enjoy it, and I hope you find some places you might recognize in this video too.
I'm Adeline Gustafson and I go to Mountaintop Montessori. Aaron and the Wildfire will perform an unplugged version of their song, Rising. <clears throat> Thank you. 
film by our friends at Artivism Virginia tells the stories of people opposing the destruction of communities and natural treasures threatened by dangerous gas pipelines. While Virginia is proud to stand beside these and thousands of other Virginians in this fight for justice and against agency failures and corporate greed, we won't stop fighting and we continue to need your help to do this work. We hope to sign up 50 new or renewing members during this festival. And we've cut the fee to just $10 right now, so you should act quickly. Construction on both the Atlantic Coast Pipeline and Mountain Valley Pipeline is currently stalled because of the collective efforts of so many people. I think the stories you're about to see will inspire you to join or continue the fight. 
Hello, my name is Ami Jesse. I go to Mountain Top Montessori, and here is our next short film. We won't back down. Hope you enjoy. What we're seeing is that the injustice is becoming so much more pronounced and prolific, and now uh, people are so much more aware of it that it provides a, an opportunity to really grow the coalition and to grow the voices here. So uh, I feel as though we've made uh, more inroads, sometimes two steps forward, one step backward, um, but uh, this is a clear call on uh, call to arms. They came in and said, we're going to take out your trees, we're going to dig a 14-foot ditch, put a 42-inch pipeline, and by the way, when we cut through your property and dissect it, you cannot build a house, you cannot put up power lines, you cannot, you know, do anything except pretty much drive over it. This is not the answer. What I've seen over the last two years has just shattered my image of how our society is, is supposed to work and how our government is supposed to represent us. The, the corporations, uh, they're the ones who are really in charge, and our government is just a pawn for those powerful people. You know what I wish? I wish I had enough money that I could buy a politician. I wish I could afford one, because that's what this comes to. Dominion pretty much owns this state. MVP is coming in a close second now. We have such a corrupted government, our democracy is really, really in danger. As I see it, DEQ is protected by the law, while we are not. Laws are being made based on the belief that we are separate from the natural world around us. We think we have the power and the right to extract and pollute the environment that actually supports our life. Our bodies are made up of the same non-human elements that everything else is. Our mistake is seeing that we are separate, better, and more powerful. When decisions are made based on the fact that we need to respect the environment that supports our life, the laws that presently protect DEQ and ACP will need to change to a morally based law system that honors the environment, including the people in it, rather than destroying its health. People unlucky enough to live near compressor stations consistently report illness and disease symptomatic of toxic, carcinogenic, or neurotoxic exposure. All point towards a lack of industry monitoring and a gross underestimation of admissions at the site. Clearly, current standards aren't working. I'm Ella Rose and I'm only 150 feet away from the property that Dominion has purchased to put that compressor station on. I'm, I've really been depressed for the last four years, but I'm going to continue to fight.
And I love Virginia, you know, but I can't allow this uh, legislature to continue to allow big business to control the state of Virginia. And that's just where it is. All of them are in the pockets of Dominion. Dominion runs the entire state of Virginia and, 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 and holding everybody hostage because they paid them off. It's time for it to stop. This decision will be made by the people and people after us. The world is dying because of the decisions of people like you. Because of the one. I know the, the mentality of the energy companies. One of their tactics is to wear down the opposition. They've got the money and the, the, the staying power, and they they make a presumption that eventually uh, the people who are opposing it will just get tired of opposing it and give up. And so the answer, the the message for anyone who's fighting one of these projects is: don't give up, no matter how dark the sky seems to get. And persevere. My name is Emmy Moore and I go to Mountaintop Montessori School. Rich Follett will perform Let It Grow for us next. Enjoy! The earth is a garden planted for our care And if all we do is harvest it will cease to bear The wealth we've been given is meant to be shared Let us not destroy, let us grow Let us grow Sisters, my brothers, let us love the earth and care for each other. Our children's children will reap what we sow. Let us not destroy, let us grow. The world is a vessel whirling in space, full of life and beauty that can never be replaced. And it's all at the mercy of the human race Let us not destroy, let us grow Let us grow My sisters, my brothers Let us love the earth And care for each other Our children's children Will reap what we sow Let us not destroy, let us grow to the children this treasure we hold if we teach them to plunder that is all they'll know they will not see the wonders unless they're shown let us not destroy let us grow let us grow my sisters my brothers let us love the earth and care for each other our children's children will reap what we sow let us not destroy let us grow this land is a legacy we must pass on to each new generation till the last day dawns if we spend their inheritance the future is gone let us not destroy let us grow let us grow my sisters my brothers let us love the earth and care for each other our children's children will reap what we sow let us not destroy let us grow let us grow my sisters and brothers let us love the earth 
and care for each other. Our children's children will reap what we sow. Let us not destroy, let us grow. Oh, let us not destroy, let us grow. The Sun Sing Collective is a group of musicians and visual artists whose work in connection with artivism supports efforts to fight fracked gas infrastructure. In this next series of short films, members of the collective share their passionate work with us and explain the inspiration behind all they do. Again, I'm Adeline Gustafson. I go to Mountaintop Montessori. Enjoy this next song, Who Will Sing For Me? My name is Graham Smith-White, and I'm an eco-musician. My journey here started in the Pacific Ocean 10 years ago when I conceived of my artistic practice, the Sunrise Review. Uh, I use nature for inspiration. I use nature and wilderness as a studio space. I take solar panels and microphones and musical instruments into beautiful, inspiring, wild and scenic places to create music. The earth is my studio and protecting it is essential. I bring solar to the environmental movement as a, a means of power, a show that you have power where you need it, when you need it. Power is, is all around us, we just have to channel it. I conceived of the Sun Sing residency to channel that power through artists to tell the narrative of these atrocities that are being forced upon the people of Appalachia via the Mountain Valley Pipeline and Atlantic Coast Pipeline. Bernadette Brown. Um, most people know me as BJ, and um, I believe that music is just an all-encompassing, powerful force. Music motivates me. Music also inspires me. I've seen music inspire many people as I go out and serve in the community. Serving in music, it brings healing. It brings hope. It provides peace for so many. And I'm choosing to use my voice to empower others as well. This is my prayer. This is my prayer. To stand against brutality and harms that's being done to this earth and our water. I believe my faith has shown me that the earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof. And he gave it to us to take care of. And together with so many that will be willing to receive the music that we share in hopes that it uplifts and inspires them as well. Cause everything will be all right. Did you get good tape? A little pitchy. I'll work on it again. When I first joined the Sunbus Collective, I had no clue what I was walking into. But as time went on, and I started to spend time with all the other musicians that were way more knowledgeable than I was, my eyes were open. I didn't realize how much the destruction of the pipelines would have on our beautiful land and water. But not only that, I didn't realize the effect it would have on our friends and family. It breaks my heart to see how far money and greed can drive people to take advantage of amazing people all over the world. We need to stop this.
It's time for our grand finale. This beautiful song and video comes to us from the Sun Sing Collective, part of Artivism Virginia. Now enjoy The Ocean Refuses No River. The ocean refuses no river, no river. The ocean refuses no river, no river. Leaves were new, and we 
to float the sky so blue And when she smiled I lit up We just walked, that was enough I do believe no finer day Was ever seen in this way And now her eyes gray as steam No finer day was ever seen And from above she witnessed me I fell in love, I do believe I fell in love